Hello, welcome to the third update in this product that is called Finish 13 by Lucia Dagen or Lucia Day or Saint Lucia, 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 whatever. Uh, this is a collab between uh, four of us YouTubers. Um, it's Elizabeth B. Christensen and Alexandra Sjösten and Mimi W. and me. And we all live in Scandinavia and here we celebrate Lucia. And if you want to know more about that you can check out our first intro videos that there where we explain more about that. Um, for today, for last time I had uh, one finished item I think and for today I have three so that's great uh, and I'm gonna start to show you them now uh, the last time I had this finished it's the eye pen from Max Factor um, in the color Violet Voltage I can't sharpen it anymore and it's very dry uh, and for this update I have finished up my uh, skin tint from Pixi. It is this one and I have cut it open and it's all finished. And uh, that went quite fast because you need quite a lot of this when you uh, use it. So that's good because it was getting old so I'm happy. And this is done. Um, the next item that I have finished up is my Clarins um, Beauty Flash Balm and I have cut this open as well and it's all gone. Um, so that's also good because I have one of these, one more of these. Oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and the last finished item for this update is this YSL lipstick in uh, sheer something it is called Rouge Volapte Shine uh, in the shade 11 I think and this is finished it's all rolled up like this so that's good as well so now I have four finished pro products and that leaves nine products left in this product and I'm going to show you them now. Um, I have a perfume here from Yves Rocher and it's very dirty <laughs> uh, and you can see all my lines here the last time I was there and now I am there. So it's going strong, but it's quite a lot left, but I think I can finish this uh, until the final date, which is, of course, I forgot to say that in the beginning, the 13th of December, when it's Lucia. And uh, the next product I have is this one, the secret flush um, blush and this little thing and I am marking this on the cap and I'm doing very slow pr progress on this one I did a new line but you can almost not see it because <laughs> there are three lines on this cap and they all they are so tight so it's hard to see um, it's very pigmented and it's going very very slow so this one is the product that I'm most unsure about uh, then I have my lip gloss from the balm pretty smart lip gloss in the shade BAM and for this one I have done very good <laughs> progress the last time I was up there and now I am about there I even take took out the stopper uh, the other day uh, because I, the 
applicator didn't reach the bottom, so now it's all uh, messy and but it's not much left. I don't know if you can see that. So this is going very good, and this is a big tube, I think. So almost done with that one, and then I have this one that is an uh, eye pen from Lancome in a black shade and I need to sharpen this now I think so you can see on my paper here and there so I think this is going quite well as, as well <laughs> because it's getting harder to sharpen it it's very small now so Finally, I have worked on this for, I think, the whole year. It's crazy. Then I have this one. It's the High Tech Lighter in the shade Full Moon from Makeup Store. And um, last time I showed you this one, you could see Pan and I uh, had product all up, uh, all around the sides, but I, <laughs> I got tired of it, see it in that shape, so I pushed it down and now it's no pan again. Uh, so maybe I've, I uh, will try to hit pan again, or I don't know. But, um, I hope to, to uh, show pictures of these last remaining products in the end of the video. I have big <laughs> problems with my uh, camera and with my uploads and with my um, what do you call it uh, editing so I hope to show you how it looked the last time then I ha have a MAC prep and prime transparent powder this one and I did repress this and it didn't <laughs> go that well because it is cracking but it was cracking before as well because I had quite a lot of pan and I think I took a picture of it that I hope to show you in the end of this video before I repressed it and it's usable but it's I see that it's um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that but it's cracked. Some products don't... Uh, some products you can't repress in a good way I think but and some products is fine so that's hard to know before you do it. And the same <laughs> with this one it's the uh, makeup store eyeshadow in the shade Smog. I was sick <laughs> of looking at it uh, in the shape that it was. It was that big pan and I have worked on this on this for so long so I decided to repress this as well and it was the same with this one. Not a good product to repress. You can see the cracks and I even uh, put a little oil, two drops of oil in this because um, I thought it would be better but no good. And same with that one. I hope to show you pictures in the end of the video. Then I um, I was in a repressing mood so I <laughs> repressed this as well. It's a Smashbox um, eyeshadow from a trio called um, called Beam. But this one is um, uh, was a good product to repress. So that's good. It's very little left of this. And the last product is my um, my bronzer from Bourjois. And it looks like this now. That was a quite a uh, quick update. I hope to see you in another video. And don't forget to check out the other ladies who did, do this product pan club. I will link them down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.